And just uh, some more clarity on some of the news that we're getting. We understand that there is a filing that includes a letter from Elon Musk's attorney saying that Twitter has not provided the information that he has been requesting now for nearly two months. And that is part of the reason why he is terminating this deal. Again, Twitter shares are trading now above $35 in the extended session, down about 45 to 5%. I'm sure this is uh, not the end of this story. Guys, are we going to move on here? You want to keep, keep going with Twitter? All right. Uh, Julie, uh, what do you make of what's going on with, with Twitter? And if Elon Musk here is not interested in Twitter, does this open up the door for someone else potentially to buy the name? No, I mean, I, I think this was probably one of the most shopped deals once, you know, Elon was in play. I, I think that long term, this is a benefit because I don't think really that Twitter employees had a lot of confidence in Elon's ability to run this business, you know, seeing as he's the CEO of two other businesses that are quite large and complex. Um, but I think longer term, it should be positive for them. In the near term, you know, something that has changed for Twitter is that tech valuations writ large have declined precipitously. So I don't think there's a great floor underneath this business, right? Because we, we know there's no buyers. There's, there's nothing that, that can come in and swoop in and save them. Um, and the strength of the business is in question because we know that ad revenue is going to be challenged. So I'm a little concerned about this stock, but I think long term, it's a positive for the company. Hmm. A positive. That's interesting. Jeff, what do you make here um, of this that now seems to be pretty official here since we have this filing and this letter from the attorney that Elon Musk is terminating his offer to buy Twitter? Yeah, I think the probability of that's been going higher and higher over the past couple of weeks. And listen, this has been a stock that's been challenged for a very long time. I mean, it's almost been dead money since its IPO for investors. And I think there's still a major question over the business, and that is, you know, can it improve the monetization? And for me, that's still a major overhang. I don't know when it's going to improve. You know, in terms of, you know, buying it now at this point in the cycle, I think that's also challenging. So for me, it's something I would set aside until there's much more clarity in terms of the business.